Hey guys, Maria Menunos here. Hope you tune into my show, Untold with Maria Menunos, this Thursday night at 8 on E. You're tuning in to the online broadcast network, After Buzz TV. Over 20 million weekly downloads in over 150 countries, and your number one source for after show entertainment. <laughs> TV, the destination for TV superfans, producing after shows for over 300 of your favorite TV shows, interviewing celebrities and showrunners, and bringing you behind the scenes exclusives. All thanks to E Entertainment's Maria Menunos, producer Kevin Undergaro, and internet leader Akamai. Now, let the buzz begin! Okay, guys, sing it. So good. Oh, oh, I'm gonna Carey. love Mariah in the 90s. I know. Hello, After Buzzers, and welcome to the Forever After Show. We are going to be recapping episode 9, 6 a.m. My name is Pegarad, and my co host here. Hey, everyone. I'm Kanika Lal. Okay, first mm-hmm. thoughts. Mm-hmm. What do you think about it? Jazz music. We saw, I loved it. I loved this episode. Yeah. It was emotional. It was cute. It was also, of course, intense with yeah, the case. There was I, a lot going on. Yeah. But I loved the introduction of jazz music, like the history of it. Yes. That was my favorite part. I loved how Abe was so into it, but we'll get I into know. that. We'll definitely do that. <laughs> um, so it starts out, uh, there's a guy who is in the jazz club. We find mm-hmm. out his name's Isaiah. He goes by Izzy. And he's talking to somebody. He's kind of like a little conflict going yeah. on. Uh-huh. And right there, we're already registering, like, okay, this person, this person. Like, yeah, you exactly. start to get, like, a scope of who yeah. we could possibly blame. And we see the big guest stars already who showed mm-hmm. him. Uh, I think his name is James McDaniel. Who yes. Was, who played um, Al. So yeah, Al cool Rainey. some guest stars in the show. Um, so let's see what happens. He, he goes into his car uh-huh. and he's sitting there. Now I know when I get in my car oh late my at God. night in an alley, I'm checking the back seat. Definitely. I'm checking the trunk. Oh, yeah. I'm checking everything. Especially like, if I'm, I'm alone. Definitely. Yeah. I'm not alone. <laughs> way too many horror movies I in know, my age. To know that no one, someone can just like literally grab you from the back. It's scary. Yeah, I feel like I would know if somebody was in there, especially you know, a guy as big as who we find uh, yeah, out. Okay. Exactly. <laughs> um, so anyway, he's he's sitting there. He gets choked. Yeah. Um, horrible way to die. And Seriously. then he gets burnt. Mm-hmm. Ugh. Not a good way to go at I all. Know. So obviously we get Henry showing up at the scene. Mm-hmm. And he finds the, the what's it called? The little rod? The, the, yeah. The it saxophone was, rod. I had it here. So, yeah. Reed. Saxophone sax reed. reed. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Finds it in his mouth. Mm-hmm. So... Okay, obviously evidence. Right. Um, and then... For, well, first he, he figured out, okay, this man was murdered, but he was burned after he was murdered. So the right. cause of death was not... That's right. That's right. Because they didn't find soot so, yeah. in his It's mouth. so interesting to like hear all the medical information about what goes on. Like the fact that Henry can combine his medical degree, so to right. speak, and his knowledge with with the crime scene is, is amazing, I think. Yeah, so it's, it's we knew that he was dead because uh-huh. there was no, so exactly. he wasn't breathing it in. That's, yes. that's what they, okay, yes, gotcha. Yes. Um, so the examiner room, now I found out watching this scene that Lucas is left-handed and I'm left-handed. <gasps> oh, Joel. more things in common yeah, with you and Joel. Every time I see a left-hander, I'm like, hmm, let's go. Wait, wait, how did you figure that out? Because he was, he was writing on the paper clip. And he was talking, oh. he was like writing down the notes from the autopsy or whatever it was. I noticed it. Little notes, okay. Yeah. Um, so they find out the string is a G note string. Yes. And they both start humming. I, I love it. They were like pitching it, like tuning it <laughs> together. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of what I was doing with the Mariah in the beginning. Um, so, okay, so then they find out it's a G note. Um, mm-hmm. Now things are kind of still coming together they right. they're putting all the clues together still uh-huh. Uh-huh. um how did they first of all when they crack open the body oh god they do that in every episode first of all it's so gory i mean it's kind of cool to be honest but also super gory and the I way know. that I this one the way they build that like did they build the body he they, like removed the it. rib cage like so easily like it was like, a like piece of wood or like something like yeah cracked open ugh 
I know. Um, so Martinez comes in and they had ID'd Isaiah, which was the, the mm -hmm. body, mm -hmm. Izzy. Um, and the film, so they found the film. Now right. Lucas. Who was apparently a film major yes. and he was not talking about that. We found that out about him, um, how he made horror movies and horror erotica yeah. and yeah. just goes off about how he used to do film. That was super I hilarious. I wonder how he made that transition into medicine. Yeah, I feel like a lot of, I don't know, LA. He's a left-hander, he's a film major. <laughs> Jeez, Joel. We have a lot in common, Joel, <laughs> Lucas. Um, so, okay, back to, uh, let's see, the examiner room. Mm -hmm. We find out that, no, that's all we found out in the examiner room. Pretty much. Right? Yeah. We okay. did kind of go over the part where we see flashbacks right. of Henry and the jazz music. Because in the beginning we see Abe and Henry, Abe listening to jazz music mm -hmm. and Henry saying, oh, why are you listening to this crap? Oh, like, my gosh, yeah. It reminds me when my parents are telling me, like, my dad is always like, Can you get, why do you listen to rap music? I can't understand anything. Exactly. So it's so funny to see Henry say that about jazz music, thinking it's not classical music, right. but it is. That it's noise. Where it's yeah. like, I think jazz is awesome. Oh, it's, it's amazing. And he's like, I'm not down with the put your thing down, flip it, and reverse it. I <laughs> you lost love that line. it. <laughs> I seriously laughed so hard. Um, okay, let's go back. So uh -huh. Ella comes in. Ella is Izzy's sister. Yes. She comes in. She's obviously devastated. Her brother has, you know, been murdered. Yeah. Um, and they're trying to find out, you know, does Ella keep in contact with their father, Pepper. Mm -hmm. Pepper Evans, who was a huge jazz artist back yes. in the day. Mm -hmm. Now, not so much. He kind of just does standing gigs, street gigs mm -hmm. here and there. I feel kind of bad. Yeah. I mean, you're a legend imagine? after all. And now, like, who you're paying. People just pass by you on the streets and just don't even recognize you. Yeah. Well, yeah. Um, so the audio tapes were given to Izzy mm -hmm. from his dad, right? Right. Because, no, no, because we find out later what? that the, the tapes were, we're all over the place. We need to get, <laughs> we need to get into where, okay. Okay. Um, so Henry thinks he failed as a father. So we go into Abe and Henry hanging mm -hmm. out. They're talking about the jazz stuff. He thinks he failed as a father. Mm -hmm. um, then he has the flashback. Now this is where it gets important because yes. they have a next door neighbor named Red, Red, who we later find out is Pepper, Pepper Evans. Evans. Crazy. Now he comes in wanting to fix his hand. It's bleeding. Yeah. And that's when we see him introduce right. a new genre of music. To right. people who've never really been, you know, heard of it. Yeah, he so just, we have Baby Abe. Music. Yeah, exactly. Not baby Abe, but Child Abe. No, I like that. Baby Abe. Baby Abe. <laughs> um, baby wanting Abe. to learn jazz, or wanting mm -hmm. to learn classic Chopin by Henry. Yes. But isn't really feeling it. Oh. You know, Red He's comes young. in. He likes the hip music. Yeah. Red comes in and offers to teach him how to play jazz. Mm -hmm. Doesn't need sheet music, just kind of feel it. Yeah, exactly. Go as you go. Exactly. Um, and he becomes Abe's piano teacher. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of the start of how Abe starts to get into jazz. Um, and then we see, okay, so Rudy, okay, so then they go to Rudy's, mm -hmm. the bar. How do they find out about Rudy's bar? <laughs> oh, Abe, hello, right, right. Abe. Mm -hmm. He's like, it was a place called Dutch's, but we can't find a place yeah. named Dutch's. Right. And he's like, that just closed down years ago. It's Rudy's uh -huh. now. So they go to Rudy's. Mm -hmm. The bartender's standing there kind of acting sketch. Yeah. I thought it was maybe the bartender. But yeah. then again, it's never Because we found the case that Izzy had. Right. It was behind the bar. Mm -hmm. So Izzy had that in the car with him the night he died. Did he? Yeah. Remember they had to take it out of the oh, car. Oh, that's right. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's weird that that didn't burn down. Like conveniently, that's true. <laughs> it was like not even. That's true. Yeah, it wasn't that's even the one like, thing that was, was the like one the thing biggest like prop shape. had to be saved. <laughs> that's very true. I love it. Um, so then Rudy goes into the interrogation room and uh, says that Izzy boasted that his dad wrote 6 a.m. and mm -hmm. that's not true. It was really somebody else. So that's where we kind of see the motive of why right. um, Izzy was killed. Right. Um, and then they tried to find out the time of death because that would have really been pivotal in figuring out, you know, who was at the crime scene of the crime, yeah. um, who was around, who wasn't. And, of course, Lucas comes in. 
160 degrees. <laughs> Gosh, Lucas was so amazing in this episode. He's amazing in every episode. He's so funny. Yeah. yeah. Um, so he comes in and talks about how he figured out the formula. They both say their time, um, 9 o'clock versus 11.58. Right. Of right. course, Henry catches him, oh, yeah. you know, a little, a little air. Yeah. Um, so they figure out the time of death and immediately rule out Rudy because mm-hmm. he was still working the shift. So yeah. there's no way that he could have been the one that killed Izzy. Mm-hmm. Um, so then we get into... And also don't forget that when Henry was in the bar with the bartender and with um, Detective Martinez, he sees the instrument. And he says it's a new string. The bass. Yeah. So this whole time that they thought it was a piano string, right. it turned that out was, to be a bass. Mm. I mean, how does he see these things? I'm, like, so I, blown away by, like... He like, what noticed. makes you just It was a new, over? brand new... Yeah, what made you, first of all, walk over to the instrument and then notice it was a whole brand new string that's been replaced? Yeah. Genius. Henry. He Two, notices everything. Yeah, for detail. So I would be scared for, if he was in the room with me. He would notice every single flaw. Yeah, he'd flaw be like, your one on strand of hair wasn't <laughs> curled the way exactly. the others were. What? <laughs> Thanks. Um, so we find out that Al Rainey owns the rights to 6 a.m., um, because the lieutenant now this is where we see the lieutenant really really helping out Mm -hmm. big time for the first time right because she's usually just okay do this like barking orders yeah exactly she really had a lot to kind of put Mm -hmm. in because she also has a passion for jazz music too right so everyone did in this episode yeah exactly (laughs) um so they went and they questioned Al, mm-hmm. and uh, he says that, no, Lionel Hubbard recorded 6 a.m. because he was in the recording studio with me. I was right, right. here. I was helping them record, and um, for some reason, they couldn't p- bring up the song. There was there was no recording of it. I didn't... Right. You mean when they brought Al in to... No, when they went to the studio to go question Al. Uh-huh. He didn't have a recording of 6 a.m. Right. He made up some excuse, yeah. like, oh, it's all digital, or I don't know, something. Yeah, exactly. A lie, of course. Uh, yeah. But then we saw them, all of the players play it, right? Right. Yeah, 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 exactly. And that's for the first time that we catch a glimpse, mm-hmm. a glimpse of Bud. Very, like I would have never. I know usually, we were we were talking about it. Yeah. We go, who could it be? I was like, could it be the daughter? I mean, like we never saw anyone else. Yeah, because usually in some episodes, like Kate, especially shout out to Kate, she catches on so quickly. Like it's always somebody who you know isn't yeah. a main role, yeah. but is real quick. But mm-hmm. this was like quicker than exact, quicker than quick. We didn't yeah. even see him talk. Quicker so that was yeah. Um, so then we get into Henry wants to go see the car. He wants to go mm-hmm. have they an revisit the autopsy. Autopsy. <laughs> um, Very clever. Yeah. So this is where I cracked up again with Lucas. That was a funny is, scene. He's like, Lucas, you're the victim. And then he's like, okay, choke me. <laughs> and so he gets choked. And um, they were really getting into it. Yeah. And he's like, harder. I work method. Like, <laughs> hilarious. Um, and then... He's like, I really want to feel my character. Like, really get into it. Beat me around. Um, and then he, just like he would with a body, takes right. the scalpel, right? Opens up the the burnt Something. seat or mm-hmm. whatever, the, yeah. the part of the, the floor, and pulls out the cuff link, which was labeled DB. Yes. Okay. So now he's figuring out. Hmm. Could it be? Dove Bird Records. Right. Um, Which was so conveniently also right. initial DB. Yeah, how many things are in Dave this li- world I do know. we know that are DB. DB? And there's like, well, there's Dove Bird and there's this. And I know. <laughs> but um, so they find out it's, he thinks it's Dove right. Bird right. Records. Obviously traces it back to Al because mm-hmm. he's the owner of yes. Dove Bird. Yes. Okay. So he's the owner and they go back and take Rudy into investigation. Mm-hmm. Now, I don't know if you ever, do you watch Breaking Bad or did oh, you ever? Oh, yeah, okay. I watch Breaking Bad. So when they're sitting in an interrogation room and, you know, they're questioning him and his lawyer comes in. Yeah. I, did, you, did you think of Saul? I thought of Saul. <laughs> like, okay, like, what can I do? What can I fix? He's like, I know you're not sitting here trying to arrest my client or whatever. I was like, <laughs> oh, my God, I miss Saul. Hey, Saul <laughs> is coming back. Side yeah. note, side note. <laughs> Better call Saul. Yes. Um, so, okay, so then he um, 
goes back to the well, first, room. Alice, so like, oh, I didn't do this. this right. Not. You've got the wrong guy. So cocky, too. Like, Of course. They all well, are. ask me. Like, it's a defense mechanism. Yeah. I feel like if I was ever accused, I'd be like, Psh. But inside, I'd be like, I would be out. shaking. I would be, like, crying. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it wasn't me. <laughs> um, so Henry and Hansen are uh-huh. in the back room yeah, or whatever like with all the evidence. More. And he has a flashback again. Of course. That's what really gets him is, like, aha moments, mm-hmm. his flashbacks. Which, that's the thing. I it's like, like, how does he remember every little thing? He's been alive for 200 freaking years, exactly man. Exactly. That. And also, so he'll kind of phase out for a little bit. <laughs> he'll just Like, the go that's a Raven a moment, stare. if you watch that show. Yeah. <laughs> and then he'll have a flashback. And then when he bounces back from it, he, like, already, like he immediately knows. Yeah, like, exactly. Give me the file. Or, <laughs> and it, okay, so he does that, right? He, yeah. He has the flashback mm. where he sees Pepper back in the day. Then he sees the photo. Knows that that's well, because because Pepper said or Red said in the flashback, everything that I ha- you need to know about me is in my briefcase. In my case, that was the aha moment. Right. So then he was like, oh, briefcase. If I was Hanson, I'd be like, well, you just spaced out for like a solid fifteen seconds I and know. came back and yelled it like, like what is wrong with you, Henry? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Uh, yeah. Okay. So he he grabs the case. Uh-huh. He cuts in it, and they find six a.m. Yes. They take that to the police station, mm-hmm. and um, they play it for Al and right. the lawyer. And Al laughs because there's nothing blank. There's nothing there. But then later, Pepper comes to the police station and tells Joe that he wrote six a.m. But okay, so he wrote six a.m. Mm-hmm. For his daughter Ella, mm-hmm. which we find out, which was the sweetest thing ever. Now, what happened was she was a tiny baby when he was writing mm-hmm. it, and he had to go home to help with her. Right. And when he left, the guys at the studio kind of kicked him off of the track. Yeah. So they kind of they stole it from him, pretty much, essentially. Mm-hmm. Um, so he tells Joe that, and um, he's getting up from the table and sees the cufflink and obviously he recognizes it yeah we know that it's something important yeah he doesn't say anything no like if that was me i'd be like oh my gosh it's dough boy i know but i think he just wanted to go get his own he was just so shocked that i cannot believe someone i worked with now their you know family is out to kill my family yeah i just he was just like okay you know what i'm gonna kill him and i'm not gonna tell you about it yikes I know. I'd rather just tell the police. Such a I don't know if I have no, the but he, guts. he was so angry that my, you murdered my son. Yeah. Oh, gosh. I feel so bad for I Pepper. I know. Um, so, Lucas, let's see. He's, oh, okay. So, something about the tape. What okay, yeah. Lucas so he, know? You mean when they bake the tape or wait, what? what ta- no, what? like Lucas knows something that Henry doesn't in the examining room. I forget what it was about. The oh, film yes. Where he's about like, the film. Hmm. Like, must I be feel, nice yeah. to feel like, well, you. Exactly. <laughs> like, <laughs> he knows something you. that for once yeah. Henry doesn't know. Yeah. I feel like we're going to see more, more of, of what Henry doesn't know finally. Yeah, because Lucas know. is stepping up. Oh, yeah. Like, every single episode, he's helping out with more and more. Mm-hmm. Helping out, doing his part. So Henry takes the tape to mm-hmm. Abe. Oh, okay, because Lucas is like... We Something need a special how- machine. Right. There's an antique machine that would help with this. Right. He goes, Abe, yeah. the jazz expert, <laughs> you know, my son, <laughs> goes to him. They stick it in an oven, yeah, literally pretty stick much, it in an oven. Pretty much. And then It's it so starts- funny how, like, Abe is helping out someone who he... Did you, wait, did I even find out that that was actually Pepper Evans who was teaching him piano? I don't know if Abe ever found out. He should have. He probably should he, have. Probably did. Probably told him. But that's probably like a nice moment for him. Like, wow, this big legend is the one who practiced with me every single day in, in the living room. Yeah, but if Henry says anything, he's like, okay, 60 years has passed and I haven't aged one single bit. <laughs> Wait, R- to who? To Pepper. If he told Pepper. Oh, I Pepper, know. But at least to Abe. So to Abe, Abe knows. yeah. That's but true. yeah, Abe to Pepper. Know. Yeah, I know. Yeah. That must be so weird for Henry, though. Like, oh God, coming across these people that he's known from yeah. his past and not being able to say anything or just be I able would, to reconnect or, I would die. I would. I would have to put it out. 
but and then I would ruin everything. How does Pepper not recognize him though? They kind of look. He looks the same as what he did mm -hmm. back then. Kind of looks a, exactly almost the yeah. same. Yeah, well, he is exactly. And the pretty same much now. like there were neighbors. Like Pepper went to his house almost every single day and played with the son. Hmm. Maybe I don't know. I mean, they couldn't have that. Couldn't have been part of the plot because then it just wouldn't have made sense. Yeah, but. No, just strange. another little plot hole. That's okay. So they take the tape to Abe, they stick it in the mm -hmm. oven, and now it works. And yes. they play it, and he hears Pepper saying, oh, Doughboy. Yeah, exactly. And that's when um, we find out that he called Lionel right. Doughboy. That was his nickname. Right. And so we know that Lionel died years ago. Mm -hmm. But his years son, ago. 15 years ago, and his son Bud Gray inherited everything, mm -hmm. the cufflinks everything um so then they go after bud yeah and we see him back again at the at rudy's at right? rudy's and this time we see um pepper like with literally the not stopping gun. with a loaded gun and ready to kill this guy oh my gosh for a second though when henry went to go stop pepper i thought we, he was gonna yeah. shoot him and then i was like don't die here Everybody at least henry didn't die in this him. episode <laughs> right yeah God. exactly he, he hasn't he, he hasn't died in a while, died actually. He's we due for Henry a death. Die. Yeah. <laughs> Henry's due for a death. <laughs> um, so, uh, so then they stop. They stop. Or he, Henry stops. Right. Uh, Pepper from mm -hmm. shooting Bud. He gets arrested, and then we go to the police station, and Ella goes to pick up six a.m. And this mm -hmm. is like a really touching, touching moment. You know, yeah, her I father's know. been missing her entire life. Exactly. Doesn't really know him that well. Um, just lost her f her brother, and she goes in to pick up six a.m., which is a huge hit. Yes, and this song is written about her. Exactly. That's like what? it's a very extremely touching moment. You're right. That's really cute. Um, and then we end on just Abe listening to Chopin, relaxing at home, and Henry walks in, and, and they're playing piano together. Oh he's yeah. teaching Henry now how to play jazz music. Yeah, he's like been around it so much with this case that he's suddenly into jazz exactly. music and wants to learn how to play. I thought that was so cute when they were at the oh, piano. I know. I know. Just like father and son, like yeah. the old days. There were a lot of tweets about that that I read. That there were cute Henry and Abe ah. father son moments. So. The cute moments that with was them just will never go away. I know. I know. <laughs> and then lastly, we end with Ella. She goes and finds Pepper on the street and Yeah. Hi Dad. Like, let's rekindle exactly. this. Exactly. Let's this. reconnect. Ugh. So cute. Yeah. Um, guys, if you can go on to iTunes and find our shows, we have tons of other shows, 90 other shows you guys can look up, watch all of the awesome after shows for, write us a comment. If you can rate us five stars, we'd really appreciate that. Find us on YouTube as well. Mm -hmm. And let's go into predictions. Yeah, definitely. And now, your After Buzz TV. Mm -hmm. What do you think is going to happen, Sega? I'm going to say that, well, in the next episode, it looks like Abe really gets hands on with finding a case. I mean, he's driving Henry, right? And he's like, Yeah, we saw the mission for me to speed <laughs> assassins as I want. I feel like Abe lives vicariously through, through Henry. Henry. Yeah. You definitely. know, he gets to do all these cool things, I and know. Abe always wants to take part and, you know, do what he can to mm -hmm. help. So I think, Abe, we're going to see a little bit of hands on crime solving with him in the next episode. Right. right. Um, and then Lucas, my, my prediction from day one is yeah. he's going to be the one to find out. That's true. Actually, I did see, um, well, this is kind of cheating a little bit, but I saw, like, a brief interview with Detective Martinez. Yeah? And she was just saying that you'll find out more about the basis of her alcoholism, like, what brought her into that, because she was, like, alcoholic. Really? I didn't know that. I, d I, I don't did. I remember she, that. She, well, yeah, because Henry always what? kind of mentions, you I know, the dark circles under your eyes. That's and true. That's true. But no, no, it was, like, actually to that extent. Right. And then to find out more about what happened to her husband. So I think we're going to see more of that being uncovered hopefully we'll hear more about henry's dark friend who calls him on the phone adam. randomly gosh yes. i really hope we find out who adam is too. i know i really want to know i feel like they're gonna do it later on in the season they're gonna make us wait yeah they're i make us wait writers <laughs> <laughs> all right do you have any news and gossip well we both found the interview with um yo and griff right? news
Um, yes, he did that interview on Yahoo mm-hmm. TV, mm-hmm. and they just asked him a few, you know, quick questions. But um, it was cute. They were like forever and ever. Yeah, actually, He's, Johan's been doing a lot of little spots on TV, like right. little, yeah, like the guy um, from Castle. They did like a okay a intervention type circle, quick spot, like a thirty second okay. promo. Uh, but I've seen him, you know, doing a lot more. Okay, well, you need to come to After Buzz, <laughs> Johan. We want yeah. you. <laughs> um, but, yeah, so for Yahoo TV, he they asked him a few questions about, do you think that being immortal is a curse or right, not? Right, And he definitely thinks of it as a curse. He uh-huh. doesn't want that in real life, uh-huh. which I wouldn't either. I, I know, no, want. no, no, no. Get to watch everybody that you love grow and exactly. die. Um, and then they he kind of mentioned the... SNM episode from last week where he was up on that thing, whatever yeah. you want to call it, the torture mm-hmm. device, all day long, like yeah. 9 a.m. to 7 p.m., yeah. and he hated it. He loved, like, when it was over and he was back yeah. on the ground oh, and just wanted nothing to do with that. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure. I know. Who would want to be, yeah, exactly. Excruciating. He also said something about how he's excited for an episode um, where they're bringing him back to the 60s. So he has some interesting <gasps> hairstyle that he'll yes. be doing, and he's excited to get that look. Yeah, because we haven't seen him in the 60s Mm-mm. yet. I mean, 1956, I l- this episode was right. kind of close. But right, right. Yeah. Be like hippie style. Oh That's my so God. fun. I love the history lesson, the history recap in the show. There's like oh. history, medicine, criminal justice, all like mixed in one show. Yeah. And, and I think genius. the costume designers, you guys are doing yeah. an amazing Definitely. job. Hair, makeup on point yes. on that show. Yes. Everything's like so perfect to that era. I know. Yeah. I know. All right. Where can we find you on social media? Well, you guys can find me on Twitter and Instagram at Kanika Lal. And you can find me on Instagram and Twitter at Pegarad. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye, guys. From executive producers Maria Menunos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other After shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. Buzz you later. The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals.